Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is October the 18th, 2021. I'm going to give you all the best stock that I'm noticing on the price chart that is a buy. Welcome to our channel. This is HFN, also known as Hufin New, the spot, the location that we're going to give you all price prediction based off the price chart only. We don't talk about fundamentals of a company. We don't look at technical indicators, use technical analysis. We simply look at the price and the volume to gauge where the market is going to go so that we can be in position and win and eat off the market. So if you guys want to join me, welcome. Keep it locked in here. Hit the like button. Share the video. Also subscribe to our channel because one thing we want you to do is see for yourself that you are also able to call the markets and predict price movement without being confused. Now, there have been a couple of stocks that we already had in our basket that we've been tracking for the long term, right? A lot of our videos that we do here on this particular platform is on a day-to-day -day basis, weekly time frame. but we also wanted to show you all that you can even do this for the long term as well. So I'm gonna go through these current stocks that's in our portfolio right here, okay? And then we're going to show you the next stock that we're going to add to our portfolio at the end of this video. So keep it here. All right. So now, first things first, let's go ahead and look at these stocks that we already got in our basket. We want to see if the market is still giving us strength, because if so, we're going to keep them. And if we're getting weakness, we're going to cut them because the market is not giving us our expectations. So the first one that we're going to look at is going to be conduit. OK, so here it is. This is the market in conduit right here we've been playing this stock ever since august the 9th 2021 of when we added it to our basket and look at it week in week out the price has just been really consolidating and conduit so the market is not necessarily weak the market is not necessarily strong neither but you guys can still tell we are still able to hold that six dollar price as support as long as that's the case I'm going to continue to keep it in the basket because the prospect of us going up is increasing, right? If the market in conduit ever came down towards $6 and we still saw weakness, we needed to cut it as soon as possible to minimize the losses. But that hasn't been the case from the weekly basis. I mean, even when we look at this from a monthly time frame, take a look at this. The last couple of months, you guys can tell that conduit did give us some weakness. Right. So from the next 30 days out, uh, we need to be a little bit careful that the market can, is still it can still break our six dollars to the downside. So we're not necessarily out the woods yet to see the market go up in conduit. I am aware of that. This is how you're able to maintain, you know, the emotional aspect of it, because I can still tell that, you know, from a monthly time frame. Yeah, the price in conduit can go down. But so far from the weekly perspective, we're still good. OK, so I'm going to continue to keep this stock in our basket. Nothing has changed yet for this particular market. OK, next one that we're going to look at is Copa Holdings, CPA. OK, and you guys will be able to see how long we've had this in our basket. You guys can tell we had this in our basket since June the 1st, 2021. Right. And just last week. Right here, October the 4th, 2021, the market came up here to our high, right? that is where we needed to cut it we're really not going to be longer into the market than what we have to be it came and hit our expectations we needed to cut the market right there in copa we didn't do it so what we're going to do now is guess what we're going to cut it now though we're going to bag the profit into the market in copa and move on to the next play right because currently we're up 7.41 percent in copa let's take it out bag that profitability right there done we move on to the next one okay because the market came and achieved our ultimate objective, which was hit that spot. It did two weeks ago, and now we're taking it off the market. Okay, it's just that easy, just that simple. Now, the next one that we'll look at is gonna be Fusion Fuel Green, HTOO. Let's take a look at this one. And you guys can see right here that the market in Fusion Fuel Green, it is still hugging our support area. Now, it is taking this market a long time as well to come and hit our ultimate TP price. I got it, I get it. The market is still able to hug what we expected it to do, so I'm not gonna change it. Now, if the market in Fusion Fuel Green broke this price level, right, $10.84, then we'll have some issues. Then we'll have to cut the market, minimize the losses, and find another opportunity, but it didn't. Matter of fact, last week, 
the market closed off of the high of last week price action so at least i'm expecting the market to come back up to where we started okay which is right here around 14 dollars 75 cents give or take so i'm going to continue to hold the market in fusion fuel green i'm not going to change it yet now definitely something that will move the market is right there on its earnings which is due december the 1st 2021 so we could definitely see some price volatility coming to the market in fusion fuel green on that particular day either before all right so i'm going to continue to watch this price in fusion fuel green it's just taking the market a little while longer for us to hit our spot okay because we had this going into the market since july the 19th 2021 okay so now let's look at the next one uh, which is pilgrim's pride ppc okay let's go ahead and take a look at that market this is pbc right here you guys can literally tell that we played the strength into the market in pbc on august the 30th 2021 uh, we pretty much came to where we said the market can get rejected uh right there around 30 dollars uh so far the market is still emphasizing that it wants to go up so i'm going to probably let this one ride for another week or so see what the price is going to be because if we hit that 30 dollars price level again then i'm cutting the play right there right i'm taking a bag right there around 30 dollars and moving on to the next play okay but that's only under the presumption that we still get more weakness into the market if we don't get more weakness then we're going to continue to let the market in pilgrim pride pilgrim's pride continue to ride up there towards 32. okay so let me see this on the monthly time frame Yeah, so I would say the next two weeks, the next three weeks, we will have to come in and really see what the market in Pilgrim Pride is doing. But right now, we're not going to touch it. We're going to continue to keep it in our basket. Okay. Now, the next one that we're going to look at is Taiwan Semiconductors TSM. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. And you guys can tell that, again, we came and bounced off where we expected the market to bounce right here around 108 dollars right so we're still golden to see the market price in tsm go up okay now if we would have broken 108 to the downside then yeah we would have to cut the play and the weakness in taiwan semiconductor manufacturing will continue to give us more weakness so we would have to cut it there and take that 12 almost 13 percent loss but the market bounced from there instead and we're going to continue to ride the market up in higher prices so we don't need to change anything yet, neither in TSM. We're going to continue to ride and expect the price to give us some strength, anticipated movement to the upside in price. Okay. And look at this from the monthly perspective first. And last month, I really don't like it. That is definitely some weakness coming through in TSM, but I get it. So definitely in the next 11 days and 10 hours, if we're able to close higher than the close from last month, then I'm even feeling better for us to allow this price to continue to go up okay so that is that from tsm we're going to continue to keep that one in our basket as well so let me show you the one that we're going to add today that is probably the best stock that is to buy right now that nobody is talking about and it is the ticker symbol is gsky which is greens sky incorporated look at this one right do you see anyone here in the market talking about this market? No, you don't. This is the one that we're going to add. And this is the reason why. It's because the last, check this out. I'm going to circle it. The market right here in green sky, the last, what, four or five weeks, the price maintained itself above $11. So off of this high volume that came in green sky on this week, of September the 13th, 2021, for the market over the last four weeks not fall below eleven dollars is emphasizing that we're trying to go up in price still okay this market is telling us that they have anticipation of of going up so we're going to continue to follow that we're going to follow the market tell us where it wants to go so that we can continue to be in position and win okay now the question is okay we're expecting the market to go up in green sky how high are you looking though right how high are you expecting the market in green sky to go this area right here is kind of being depicted as a restriction point so 
So it's kind of right there. It's where we're seeing restriction. Okay. Now, let's look at the market on the monthly time frame. So last month was a pretty decent month in the green sky. I mean, we saw a very high volume. The market definitely tried to go up in price and it's been successful, right? Now, based off a of monthly time frame, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market in green sky try to come up here towards $15. Okay, now that's from a monthly perspective, meaning that we will at least have to give this a month time to allow the market to hit that $15 price. Now, in between, like I said, this area can impact the progression of movement in green sky right there around thirteen dollars and twenty cents okay right there so i'm expecting the price to go up in green sky uh, originally thirteen dollars and twenty cents is the first spot the first location that we can see this market get hung up at because we did back in 2019 the market saw that as restriction so as we continue to move up higher in price we got to be prepared for that that the market in green sky got hung up there okay so i would be expecting the market to try to get hung up again now if we maintain the strength though then definitely 15 dollars going to be in tow for the market in green sky okay so let me take it back over to the weekly time frame and I'm going to continue to expect the market in green sky to go up as long as price is able to trade above $10. Okay. So let's go ahead and add it to our basket. Now let's take a look at what the analysts are talking about. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and add what? Let's do 100 shares. Okay, so let's see what the analysts are talking about. So now, there's four analyst ratings currently for Green Sky. Four. Out of all four ratings, there's only one buy. Three of them have a hold rating. Okay, now the price target is $9.75, right? Based on four Wall Street analysts offering a 12 month price target. Over the last three months, the average price target was $9.75 with a high forecast of around 13 and a low of six. So they're expecting the price to go down 18.75% based off of this $12 price that the market in Green Sky was trading at, right? $12. We're looking for $13.20 and then $15. So we're going to see which one is correct. The price chart from our perspective is right. It gives you the correct idea as to what the market is anticipating. These analysts, there's not too much strength recommendations from them, but rather they're looking for the market to either hold or go down. There's only one buy rating, which was initiated about two months ago. JP Morgan, Reginald Smith has about a $13 price target. Okay. Now, a lot of people put so much emphasis on these analysts, right? You see a lot of YouTubers coming to tip ranks trying to solidify their price recommendation based on what these analysts are talking about, right? You can see from my perspective that the chart is showing that the market is going to go higher than what these analysts are even talking about. So which one is right? Because in the end, ultimately the price chart is gonna show us which one is correct. Either we are or they are. They're looking for the price to come down. We're looking for the price pretty much to go up, all right? So let me know, what do you all think? We added this one to our basket so you guys can now see that we have Green Sky Holdings added to our portfolio. So you can visually tell as we do these updates as to what price has done versus to our expectations all right so that's it let me know which stock do you think is a buy right now right let everyone know in our community which stock do you think is has the ability to go up higher in price so that we can also see that market and make the necessary adjustments or 
make the decision should we jump in and participate in it or not. Let me know. Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always, trade different.